George, would you like some female company? Uh, always, for sure. Ah, good afternoon. Oh, oh, wow, 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 you are gorgeous. Sorry, do you mind? Do you mind? Oh, wow. Just a bruise. Well, what's that one then? It's just a bruise as well. <laughs> yeah, anyway, did you see Andrew on last night's show? Yeah? Oh, he went berserk when he transformed himself into 24's uh, Jack Ooh. Bauer. Yeah. It's just a bruise. Seriously? Yeah. But is he a hard man, George? Or is he, uh, is he more like the Milky Bar Kid? I don't know. <laughs> Not me. That's our burning question today, though. Uh, in the event of a nuclear attack, would you trust Andrew to save the world? Would Let's you? Know what you think. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no. yeah, you no. are Oh. And, uh, and here to give us some battle-hardened intel on whether Andrew could cut it in the macho world of espionage is special forces expert Steve Trulia, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Plus, the nominations are in. It's between Dave, Ben, John James and Steve. Oh, Steve. wow. All oh, boys. Like oh, yes. boy. No way. Yes. Shut the front door. I, I like that bit, love most. Mm. Good. Uh, but one of them will save themselves in a save and replace task. And we'll be revealing who later on in the show. Indeed. Uh, also, BB6's Maxwell is back to talk about love in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Up because, because everybody, John James and Josie, are finally kissed, yeah? It's going to be off the hook. They're finally kissed, guys. I've had enough! I've had enough of you! All of you, drop down! Now, get down! On your faces! Get down! George, you better stay there. I want to see your face on the floor now. Sorry, I get it, like on a bit of a power trip and the pressure can get to me. So let's just have a look at last night's show in 60 seconds. Get down, George! Oi, geek boy. A little bird told me you're pretty obsessed with a certain action hero from a certain US crime drama. Yeah. <laughs> you must do everything I say for the entire 24 minutes. Come. I want you to do a military roll. Get in there! Get in your bedroom now! Sorry, Corey, get down! There's another house. Five new housemates are going to be joining us. They're going to be replacing five of you lot. Shot! No, no this is the truth. Was you not on a task? Sometimes I can just flip for no reason. Shut the front door! I noticed you dropped Rachel like a hot stone for Laura. Morning, baby girl. How are you? Yeah. I don't like guys, right, who are all over one girl one minute and the next minute someone else walks through the door and you're all over someone else. I don't like fake affection. <laughs> These two are trying to make it out that I fancy you. Oh, no! Oh. Like, you are fit. <laughs> I feel like we're on a double date. <laughs> <laughs> right, call me, yeah, call me. Now, the worms certainly turned tough when Andrew took on the 24 task in the house. But I, what I want to know is what's going on in that ginger head? <laughs> now, naturally, we asked Keith Sutherland for his thoughts on the new tough guy in the Big Brother house. And his agent replied, what house? The House of Lords. But who needs an actor when we've got the real deal? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man who's experienced firsthand the world of international espionage with 20 years in the Special Forces. He jumps off buildings and sets himself on fire for fun. It's real life action man. Steve Truly, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Steve. Hello, George. Nice to see you. He made light work of that paper, didn't he? Yeah. 
hand. That's 20 years of commander. I couldn't find the door. Yeah, right. OK, now, Steve, uh, you were a commander in the Special Forces. Yes. Now, you're now a stuntman. How, yeah. did, uh, how did young Andrew do stepping into your world? Well, you know, he looks a bit geeky at times, and he is a bit of a geek, but actually he gave 110% and he really went for it. So I have to say I was quite impressed. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think he had it in him. Yeah, should really we have good. a little look at his performance, guys? I think we should. Yeah. Have you been using my toothbrush, Dave? <laughs> no, I haven't been using your toothbrush. <laughs> you smell breath on it. I smelt your breath on my toothbrush earlier. It, it is. It's disgusting. It's pretty rough. But no, I haven't used your toothbrush. But I will use it if you want me to. If I'll you even go near my toothbrush, you'll be in a world of pain. I need a flushing out. I know what to do with your toothbrush. <laughs> Wow, what did you think of his interrogation skills? Uh, not very good, actually. He should have been a bit more persistent, but it was a bit of an odd one because the guy wasn't responding. Yeah, so. I mean, if I'm, if I'm going to interrogate you, Steve, I'd probably ask you to stop reading first, or tell you to stop reading anyway. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, that would be the first rule, right? Yeah, and he should have been right on the button there and just kept on, what, on just that question. Just keep driving home. Keep like driving a... home and wear him down is what he should right, have done. OK, uh, good news, guys. You can see pictures of Andrew's dramatic task on the website right now. Uh, I want to talk to you about Andrew... The, uh, the gymnast, OK, some in crazy, some amazing acrobatic skills. Let's have a look at him in the house now. Uh, he's just, we're going to see him rolling through. Look at this. This is impressive. Wow, look at that. Look at that agility. Uh, you spent five years studying the martial art of kendo. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, never, no. That was dreadful. But actually, he went for it. So I'd give him about five out of ten for technique, really? and I'd give him ten out of ten for commitment and going for it. Yeah, OK, Again, so you really right. do, you're liking what Andrew did. Do you know what, he just really went for it. His personality came through. OK, let's talk about him going into the house, because when he goes in there, I, I mean, you know, he's quite a diminutive guy. He went in, he was really barking orders at everybody. Do you, do you think that was the right tact? Well, not necessarily. You know, you've got two ways of doing this. If you're six foot two and you've got a big, big stick in your hand, yeah. people will be scared of you. If you try and force them to do something and to be compliant, they will either go because they're scared, or maybe someone will try and fight you and resist you. Right. Psychologically, if you use a different tack and say to somebody, look, I've got power over you. We could kick you out of the house right, here. Okay. I've got the power to do that. Will you please go and make it confident that we'll do it? So Might you can have been use... a bit more believable. Yeah, they could... I think he could have used a bit of brain instead of just the brawn. But again, he, he played full out. All right, let's see, uh, let's see Andrew using the brawn. Guys, in the bedroom, now! I'm not joking here! Get in the bedroom, now! Get in there! You! You! Down! 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 Get down! Steve, I think you can stay down. Ben! <laughs> ben, get down! I, li I like the bit of comedy in there as yeah. well at the MSC. That was good. Uh, good. Do, you, do you get a lot of kind of weedy secret agents? Yeah, you know, people that do that kind of work, clandestine work, have to blend in. They right. must look innocuous. No point being six foot tall, 19 inch biceps and a bronze tan, because right. you stand out. Absolutely. So someone like him... Could, could be perfect for MI5. Could Watch his space. Could well be. Could be a code breaker as well. Now we don't. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to blow his hard man image. Uh, but uh, we've actually got Andrew's mum, Chrissy, on the phone right now. Chrissy, how are you, my love? Hi, George. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, last time we spoke to you, we were talking about Andrew's love life. Uh, okay. Now it's espionage. Uh, were you surprised that Andrew and the task last night? I was very surprised. I thought it was the best episode of the series so far. Really? Of course you did, Chrissy. Of course you did. <laughs> Have you ever seen your little boy so angry before? I've never seen him angry. I've never heard him shout. So. A lot of pent-up frustration there, obviously, Chrissy. Oh, I don't think so. No? OK. <laughs> no. Uh, now, he, he did cover his tracks well by telling Rachel that he'd, uh, he had a split personality and she believed him. Yeah. Did you think he'd be so good at lying? No, I didn't really know that side of him. <laughs> do, you, do you think now maybe he's been telling you a few porkies? No, I don't think he'd ever lie to his mum. Really? Oh, no. Oh, he was so convincing, though, Chrissy. He was. Mm. No need to lie to me, is there? Right, OK. Uh, now, Davina says on the, on the homepage of the website, yeah, uh, she says that she thinks Andrew's got a game plan. And no. Uh, it isn't as sweet, as innocent as he makes out. What do you say to that, Chris? No, he definitely hasn't got a game plan. He's just gone in there having fun with them and, you know, right, okay. just bringing laughter. What did, you, what did you think of his reward with the three beautiful girls? I think he really enjoyed it. I, I, I could see that from his face. All I right, Chrissy. So. Thank you very much, Thank my you love. Thanks. You take care. Bye. Uh, right, now, you would think, everybody, that with 52 cameras, hidden microphones, a teams of, uh, of people watching their every move, it would be next to impossible to escape Big Brother's glare. But yesterday, two of them attempted some anti-espionage techniques of their own. Have a look at this. I'm sorry, all right. Oi, what are you doing? I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Go into the house, right? Go into the diary room and discuss it that way, OK? Steve, what did you think of that? How would you deal with mutiny in the ranks like that, Steve? 
Well, you know, the whole world of special forces is based around individuals using their initiative. Right. Here you've got two people who've completely beaten you, all your cameras, 52 of them, all of your 